Nightcrawler back up in this piece and it's that time for another Asian cinema takeout video I got a nice stack of flicks to share with you guys but before I do check out this awesome t-shirt courtesy of fast custom shirts super inframan representing love it definitely check out fast custom shirts they got a lot of cool tea designs from exploitation horror and Asian cinema and more check them out good shit man t-shirt Joe bringing it all right guys let's jump into the pickups for Asian cinema takeout we got a uh, little three Blu-ray haul courtesy of Right Stuff Anime. They had a Media Blaster sale for like 10 bucks a pop. The Blu-rays couldn't pass it up. And uh, we'll start things off with uh, Death Kappa, the uh, 10th anniversary attack Blu-ray. Really fun stuff. This is a revisit for me. Caught it on Tubi uh, maybe a few months ago, and I loved it, man. Fun, cheesy stuff. I knew I had to have it in the collection. And uh, yeah, this one does pack... A few special features, which I did check out. I believe the making of, but uh, yeah, I just had it on the background. But Death Kappa, lots of fun. If you're a fan of kaiju flicks, definitely check this one out. I also did pick up Mechanical Violator Hakaider. Yes, from 1995. And this one is a banger, man. I also caught on Tubi like last year. I loved it. Knew I had to have it in the collection. And this one has a director's cut and theatrical cut as well. Oh man, if you like uh, you know, um, uh, you know, your um Power Rangers kind of shit, yeah, you definitely definitely gotta give this one a shot. Good shit, man. Hakaider. Definitely need to pick up the Zyron Flicks next. But I also did score Alive. This is uh directed by uh Rihei Kitamura and one I have never seen before. Uh does come with that slip cover, and this includes the uh Blu-ray, which has a 4K theatrical uh cut and the unrated director's cut is on dvd sadly no uh, upgrade on that but uh yeah for 10 bucks scoop this up watching it i thought it was very like sci-fi trippy kind of feel and uh definitely uh i enjoyed it all around man it, it's pretty out there all right continuing on with more ryuhei kitamura i also did score a copy of the two disker dvd of azumi man this was super cheap on amazon man uh last i looked it was like going for quite a bit and Always passed on it, so I'm really stoked to pick this up for like less than three bones, man. No doubt. Plus shipping and handling. But uh yeah, Azumi is a banger, man. If you like sword play, uh a high uh kill count, you can't go wrong with Azumi. It's freaking amazing, man. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. I'd really need to get a hold of part two next. All right, continuing on. I also did pick up some Takashi Mike to add to the collection, and this is Detective Story. Finally found this at a great price, and uh, this was a lot of fun, man. It does have that TV movie feel, but, uh, you know, it does have uh, some Mickey absurdity as well. Detective thriller all around. Yeah, good old Tokyo Shock. This is a formal rental, but I got it super cheap. Can't complain. It works, and uh, yeah, I dug it, man. Fun stuff. All right, next up, guys, we have Isola, the multiple personality girl. Now, Sally, this one is kind of a, a, a kind of a sleeper, man. You can sleep on it, definitely. Um, only for the hardcore. Does it is kind of light on horror, more of a sci-fi feel to it. I don't know. Uh, the setting is kind of set after like an earthquake, so it's kind of like this uh, kind of like post a natural disaster kind of feel to the film all around. But yeah, this one is kind of a miss for me. Only check it out if you're really curious. You can probably find it pr uh, pretty cheap on Amazon. I'll put it that way. But yeah, definitely you can definitely skip this one. All right, next up we have some anime, and it's going to be Pet Shop of Horrors. Uh, I was really curious about this one since uh, the name's displayed on the front, as you can see, like Yoshiaki Kawajiri, as I'm a big like Ninja Scroll fan, ca caught my attention. And I got to say, this one is like some throwback anime. Uh, it's like four little stories interwoven in one you know, overall kind of like movie feel. Um, you know, it's it's okay. It has like a Gremlins kind of a Tales from the Dark Side uh, creep show kind of feel to it all around. But uh, yeah, definitely check it out if you like really weird, creepy anime. It's not like a bloodbath or anything, but uh, some, some of the stories are better than others. I like the first one more than most of them, but yeah, pretty dope stuff. And, you know, gotta love that classic anima animation style. And we got one more for Japanese cinema, and this one is definitely skippable, guys. This is uh, Last Quarter, starring Chiaki Kuriyama and also Hyde. I only picked it up for Chiaki. 
because I wanted to check out more of her stuff. But yeah, this is kind of a love drama, gothy kind of flick, man. Not my cup of tea, guys, but I did give it a shot. I did muscle through it. Uh, yeah. All right, guys, now we're going to jump into some Thai horror. And we got Tokyo Shock Double Feature Box Set, which was really cool to find on Amazon. Super cheap, man. Haven't seen any of these flicks, so they were a nice surprise. And I got to say, The Unborn definitely delivered. Uh, solid Thai horror right here, guys. Very creepy, very uh, hot hospital atmosphere through most of the film as well. If you like that pregnant horror kind of stuff, man, definitely don't sleep on this one right here. It delivers. Uh, the Commitment, uh, definitely, uh, you know, the... the uh, the one you can skip definitely this one is pretty pretty bad but it does have a bit of that Thai whore, that culture horror you know what I mean so I dig that and uh, for what it's worth it did win me over at the end that's when things really ramped up but definitely you guys can skip the commitment definitely check out the unborn and finally guys we do have some South Korean cinema to top it all off it's memories of the sword really solid uh, sword play fantasy drama uh, delivers on all all ends man good shit and uh thanks to the homie manny for hooking me up with this copy definitely check us out guys at three real cinema it's a group of us from austin here where we talk about asian cinema local spots as well as physical media uh yeah definitely check us out i'll put a link in the description below where you can check out that second channel and uh, that's gonna be it guys thank you so much for watching this episode of asian cinema takeout definitely check out fast custom shirts i'll be back again next time with another dope episode peace